Dubai is a particularly wealthy emirate since it's not reliant on oil sales to survive. Trade, transportation, technology, tourism, and finance all play a role in the country's multifaceted economy. Dubai is a well-renowned destination for the wealthy and famous, as well as everyone in between. But do you know the richest families in Dubai? Well, in this video, we're going to discuss the richest families in Dubai. But before moving ahead, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more informative videos like this one. And with that, let's get straight into the video. Starting on number 10, there comes Saif Abu Gharer. Saif Gharer is a well-known Emirati businessman, is in line of the UAE's Billionaires League. Saif has spent a significant portion of his life amassing enormous wealth for himself. He is a prominent stakeholder in the Al Gharar Group, a family firm that is a very large diversified corporation in the UAE, with a few stakes in a number of enterprises both inside and outside the country. Real estate, petrochemicals, packaging, metals, stock brokerage, and many more fields have been explored by the corporation. It is far larger than you would imagine. The corporation has made several significant investments, including two of the greatest real estate holdings in two of Dubai's top retail complexes, the Reef Mall and the Burjuman Center. After that, Saeed bin Bouti is the ninth richest family of Dubai. Saeed bin Bouti is a well-known figure in Dubai since he was the third ruler after his brother Maktoum bin Bouti bin Sohal died in 1852. He was a point ruler when his brother's Maktoum's kid was allegedly too young to succeed his father after his death. Saeed was also a signatory to the Perpetual Maritime Truce with the British government, which was signed in 1853. Moving ahead, Ravi Palai is listed on number 8. Ravi Palai is a founder of the RP Group of Enterprises and was born in India. With operations in Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Qatar, and Bahrain, his net worth is believed to be $2.5 billion, according to Forbes. His firm is also known for employing a large number of migrant Indian laborers. If you love watching this video, then make sure to subscribe to the channel right now. Let's continue. On number 7 we have Khalaf al Abtor's family. Khalaf al Abtor is the family's main source of money. He is the son of a well-known business magnate, an investor, and the CEO of the al Abtor company. al Abtor Group is one of the world's largest conglomerates with a diverse range of businesses. The al Abtor Group is involved in a variety of economic ventures including real estate, hotel management, education, hospitality, and publishing. Khalaf has been instrumental in the al Abtor Group's recent success as well as the development of other large businesses. Khalaf was also the project supervisor throughout the creation of the Alaptor city and he oversaw and continues to oversee additional projects such as the Alaptor Polo Resort and Club, Alaptor Business Tower, and Dubai's famed Palm Jumara. The Alaptor family is the country's most collaborative business family. Hussein Sajwani is in the sixth spot. Next on the list is Hussein Shazwani, a well-known figure in the UAE's real estate industry. He has a large number of real estate holdings in the Middle East and elsewhere in the world. He is the current chairman of Damak, a Dubai-based luxury real estate company he founded in 2002. Because both of his parents were successful business people, being an entrepreneur was in his DNA, and surviving in the entrepreneurial world came naturally to him. Forbes estimates his net worth to be $1.4 billion. His father was a well-known dealer who used to sell Chinese imported shirts and other items from his shop at the local market. He got his first job as a financial officer in Abu Dhabi Gas Industries, and from there he he built a catering business that worked for him because of his special privilege of meeting affluent clients, which is how he began to accumulate a fortune. After that, here comes Abdullah Al Futaim on number 5. With a net worth of $2.1 billion, Abdullah Futaim is the sole owner of the profitable Al Futaim Group, a well to do firm with operations in Japan, Kenya, and Morocco. He made his income by dealing with well known brands such as Toyota Vehicles, and he had authorization from companies such as Zara, IKEA, and Hertz. He is also also involved in the development of retail malls. He is the owner of Dubai Festival City and Cairo Festival City respectively. Moving ahead we have Majid Al Futaim in number 4. With a net worth of $3.3 billion, Majid Al Futaim is listed as the top richest families in Dubai. The luxury and hospitality industry is one of MAF's most important branches. It manages and maintains a total of 13 hotels and 24 centers both inside and outside the UAE. The Mall of Emirates, which is located in the heart of Dubai, and the Mall of Egypt, which is located in Cairo, are two of these malls. 
Outside of UAE, the corporation presently operates in 12 countries, including Armenia, Egypt, Iraq, Jordan, Kuwait, Lebanon, Oman, Pakistan, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, and others. Futame isn't simply a one-dimensional businessman. He strongly believes in diversification, which has aided and increased the growth of his fortune over time. His involvement in the fashion sector is one of many facets. Popular companies such as Athletica, Abercrombie & Fitch, and Lululemon have given him licenses. He keeps a close watch on the entertainment business as well. He makes investments in concerts and movie screenings. Ma Youssef Ali is the third spot. Youssef Ali is the sole proprietor of the Lulu Group International and serves as chairman and managing director of the firm. Lulu Group International manages the Lulu International Shopping Mall and the Lulu Hypermarket chain across the world. He also owns one of South Asia's largest conference facilities, the Lulu Balgadi International Convention Center, which is located on the Balgadi Islands, as well as the third largest HIA, which is also located on the same site. Forbes estimates his net worth to be $3.5 billion. Are you wondering how much money the richest family in Dubai might have? Keep watching the video as there's going to be more fun ahead. He is among the top 100 companies entrepreneurs in the Arab world today according to Middle East rankings. He has certain shares in the form of investments in various companies. For example, he owns 4.99% of the Catholic Syrian Bank in Thrissur and 4.47% of the Federal Bank in Aluva. He was also able to purchase the Scotland Yard building in London, as well as own 10% of the UK Trade Corporation and 40% of the Fine Food subsidiary. These are only a handful of his international investments. As a result, I see no reason for anybody to deny his status as one of the UAE's most powerful billionaires. Second on the list is going to be Abdulia al gharhard Another well-known individual in the UAE is Abdullah al gharhard with a net worth of $3.7 billion. This is the owner of the Mashrek Bank, which was founded in 1967 and is one of the country's oldest banks. Abdullah is the founding father of the al Ghurar Group, a diverse family-owned business in addition to owning a bank. In the United Arab Emirates, the group owns the largest flour mill, a water utility, and an animal feeding manufacturing enterprise. They also own and operate a shopping center in Dubai, as well as various hotels and residencies. He's a well-known businessman in the UAE, and he is well-known for his dedication and hard work, which have earned him the title of one of the UAE's wealthiest men. So the last and richest family on today's list is going to be the family of Mohammed Al Maktoum. Mohammed Al Maktoum, the current ruler of Dubai, is the guy who transformed Dubai from a desert region to one of the world's most visible cities. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum is the United Arab Emirates Vice President and Prime Minister. With an estimated net worth of $18 billion, the Al Maktoum family is Dubai's wealthiest family. They have a boat, a private aircraft, a large and luxurious residence, and other important possessions. The Crown Prince of Dubai, Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid, is the most popular among the Sheikh's children and the entire United Arab Emirates. The Prince is alleged to own a large collection of high-end automobiles made entirely of gold. He also socializes with others, practices yoga, and goes to a blood donation facility. And, like his father, he owns horse racing companies. Which is the richest family you knew before watching this video? Do let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to smash the like, share, and subscribe button for more informative videos like this one. With that said, this video has come to an end. We will see you with the next interesting video on this channel soon.